Guitars a lot of the time are preferential, if we see. So I might go into a guitar store and pick up a guitar off the off the shelf and go, I love this. And someone else might go in that place and go, this is not my jam. Really when it comes down to it, guitars are very personal um, and that's what makes them so wonderful. And that's why you want to play as many as you can because some just speak to you. Based on the one I played, the Dreadnought, I like this guitar better for me. And I think it's a different price point. And, but it's probably because it's a bigger guitar. It's like a triple O, um, which I like. It's got a thicker neck. So it has a bit more warmth to it uh, than the smaller Dreadnought because the smaller Dreadnought's obviously gonna pack a bigger punch. So. Feel to me obviously is my number one thing. So the feel to me straight away is like, I like the neck. I know the hit neck's the hand rub neck. Uh, spruce on the front. Um, I know it's gonna be bright. Um, but it has that action is perfect for me, right, right out of the right out of the box. The action for me is really great, and by action, you know, if you don't know, it's just how high this uh, the strings sit up off the fretboard. Um, so some people like the the strings to be a lot, little bit higher, um, but that means that you have to press your fingers down a lot harder to get those those sounds. There's different reasons for that, um, but I like my actions to be to be as low as possible without causing what's called fret buzz, which means the strings are sitting on the frets and causing a buzz all the time. It's very easy to play. To me, this is a very um, singer-songwriter guitar, which I love. Um, it's like, I could take this out of the box, I could go to a coffee shop and I could set up my little rig and again, it's electric acoustic, it's a hybrid. It's got the tone control and the volume control so you can kind of mess with it how you want to. And this be like, I'm just gonna sing a song about my mom today and my dog. You know, you can do whatever you want to do in terms of how you want to sing. It's a great singer songwriter guitar. I don't need a full band with it. like that resonance that goes on really well. That's because it's a, based on the Dreadnought, it's got a bigger body, so that's got a lot more room to breathe, so that volume's gonna go a little bit longer, which is which is why I think, you know, singer-songwriter, you've got a little bit more to play with in terms of volume and in terms of feel, and it's gonna actually resonate a lot longer because it's a little bit of a body, uh, bigger body. It's still uh, pretty thin, so it's almost like borderline thin line. Um, but that's how those triple O's are, are. and so once again, it's a, a bigger body, great travel companion where you can write songs on it. It can be punchy, but it can be really nice and mellow if you want it to. Let's do one. Depending on how you feel, and so that's it's a really cool, it's a really cool companion piece. I think it's got the volume and tone features. But most of the time, you're just gonna like I'm playing mostly in church capacities. I'm just gonna roll those straight up and let the sound man do what they do best. For worship songs, if I was playing any sort of worship songs, anything sort of upbeat, I would go for. Um, it's not gonna have those super warm tones that I want for anything kind of downplay. But if I grab this and I was like, you know, um, I want to play. Awake my soul and sing. See his praise aloud, see his praise aloud. Do I play the right chords? I want something to cut through the mix a little bit. This frequency is going to cut through that for sure. I'm playing anything like that. The t-shirt with this guitar that I would probably go the best is like just one of those like Purple Rain Prince t-shirts. I think if that's the kind of place that you're into, you know, or something floral. I think you just can't go wrong with, with floral. Summer's coming up, spring, bring a little sunshine. Oh, actually that goes with any guitar. What am I saying? Let's just, just go Hawaiian. Okay, this is what I think of when I think of this guitar. And I don't want anyone to take this the wrong way, which some of you will, because it's, it's online. I imagine uh, a singer songwriter girl with a hat on, like a cowboy hat maybe, in a summer dress, walking through fields of daisies, and she's got this guitar, and she's singing that singer-songwriter life. That's the album cover, you know? It's like the, this is over your back kind of thing, like, this is how I imagine this guitar. And she's like, 
hey y'all. And she, and, she, and, she, and she sings this beautiful song. You're like, wow, that's, that's great. If, if that's you, and or the guy who's, uh, who's trying to date that girl, this is the guitar that he uses.